Get to the house. He like. So you a bull diker? I will never forget when my daddy called me a bull diker. <laughs> so you a bull diker? I was like, what? <laughs> Old ass terminology. What is that? I didn't know what that was. I don't think I ever heard a dyke at that time. But my daddy called me a bull diker. He went lower than low. He Instead of saying dyke, he was like bull diker. You know what I'm saying? Hit your words like, oh, ah, damn. That's what you think of me? That's what he thought of me, man. <laughs> hey, Daddy. Yeah. Let me talk my shit. Uh huh. Yeah. 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 Uh. Yeah. I was fucking with this virgin ass bitch. Wait, let me talk my shit. Let me tell you about this bitch. See? <sighs> What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host. And today, I had to buy a new camera. I don't even want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. But anyway, I got to say my grace. So, story time. Now, y'all like that story time yesterday. I was talking about, oh, I'm eating a uh, Beyond Burger. This is not real meat. Uh, trying something new or whatever. Um, I need to, I'm trying to figure out what story time going to be today. The time I got caught <clears throat> at my grandma's house. And I know that sounds so terrible. <sighs> this is what happened. This girl I used to go with. I met her through another friend who had a girlfriend. It was her cousin. So, my friend dating this girl, I started dating her cousin. We didn't go to the same school or nothing. But, seen the pictures, got on the phone with her and shit. I wanna see you. Cause, uh, you know, I, I nice looking woman. And um, she was like, all right. Hold on, y'all gotta get some drink and a nap. She was like, all right, bet when? Like, I don't know. But it gotta be soon. I seen her several times. But this specific time I seen her, it was some shit. So, I didn't wanna go to church. I wanted to see her, so. That Sunday, I used to go to my grandma's house every weekend. And, um, my grandma go to church, she, well, she was going to church faithfully, so. She did her regular thing. She got up, got dressed, played church music for two hours. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you woke up to I Need You Now and some more stuff. <laughs> Every Sunday. But I liked it. But, um, <clears throat> so she leaves. She went to church. Old girl came over. <sighs> Had to give me a pickle. You know what I'm saying? Feel like I don't have a side. I hope I, I feel like eating this pickle. I want a small. Yep, that's all I need—a little small. Brought the whole jar for a small pickle. But um, so I'm like, you gotta come over. Um, my parents ain't want me catching the bus and shit. So if I would have caught the bus, child, I probably would have got caught. So. Um, she said that she would come to me. So she catches the bus, came to the crib. You know, we did what young people do. Uh huh. I don't know, with, with women at the time, like you really, when you first start this lesbian shit, just like I guess with straight stuff, you never really know what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? I like to, back then anyway, I like to kiss more than anything, so. It was probably a whole bunch of kissing them. I probably did it. I, I really don't remember. I don't remember if I really had sex with her that day. <laughs> like, I know we did something. I don't, don't have me lying. But anyway, after we do whatever we did, 
I wanted her to stay a little longer because every Sunday, my grandma would stay at church extra long. Bro, that's why I didn't want to go. You have Sunday service, then you have a funeral. Seems like they had a funeral every Sunday. But how? I had a funeral. I gotta sit there for the rest of the day. Till my grandma got out of that funeral. This particular Sunday, it wasn't a funeral. She came back home. Now, it's me, her, in the bed. And my cousin, <clears throat> got a boy cousin. He in the bed with us for some reason now. We wasn't knowing nothing. But we was playing is what we was doing. But I think he was at the end of the bed. Just because we had one bed. He wanted to lay down or something. But we wasn't knowing nothing. <clears throat> she was laying beside me. And I was pretty much holding her. So I done locked the screen door because I'm thinking shit. If my grandma do come. She could just ring the doorbell. I have to let her in. I'm thinking I got it all figured out and shit. Oh no. Mm -mm. Somehow, I locked the back door. Screen door, because I wanted her to knock on the door or ring the doorbell. So I can come get the door if she came back. She got in the screen door. Open the screen door. Come in the house. Why in here? I was not having sex, bro. Not in that moment. <clears throat> we just in the bed, just laying down, chilling. Bro, why she opened the room door? I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> Cause I knew if my grandma caught me, she was gonna tell my daddy. Cause remember, she told my daddy before. This time, she told him. She was like, Y'all need to get on up by him. Uh, she need to go home. And I was like, I guess I was like, okay. She could just take the bus or whatever. My grandma was like, no, I'm going to drop her off. And I'm like, why? It was because she wanted to drop me off. So, boom. She done dropped her off away. I think when she said the whole ride was like, why y'all doing this? And... Needless to say, my grandma don't like the gay shit, okay? Just say it like that. She really didn't like that shit. Drops her off. Didn't talk to her mama now. Uh -huh. I don't even think her mama gave a damn. <clears throat> if she did. But anyway, we go to my house. I'm like, fuck. My daddy gonna kill me. Because remember I told y'all I was lying like hell. No, I ain't gay. Hell no. I was telling my daddy studs was ugly and all kind of crazy shit. Because at the time, my daddy kept asking me like, are you, no, he didn't ask me was I gay, no. He was like, you ain't trying to be like that, are you? <laughs> say some shit like that. What am I supposed to say? hell no like I ain't say that but I'm like no <laughs> why would I want to do that dad ew Ugh. like I... meanwhile I be getting it in with girls and you don't even know it cuz terrible so get to the house he like so you a bull diker I will never forget when my daddy called me a bull diker So you a bull diker? I was like, what? <laughs> Old ass terminology. What is that? I didn't know what that was. I don't think I ever heard a dyke at that time. But my daddy called me a bull diker. He went lower than low. He Instead of saying dyke, he was like bull diker. You know what I'm saying? Hit your words like, oh, ah, damn. That's what you think of me? That's what he thought of me, man. <laughs> So, he got my phone. I can't remember if he whooped me or not. I don't think he did. I think he did, but I'm not sure. He grabbed that phone and he broke that motherfucker. I had a flip phone. I used to love that phone. He grabbed it. Boom, threw it down on the ground, like stepped on it and shit. It was over for that phone, bro. I was so hurt. 
Lord, I was hurt. He just broke my phone, y'all. So, my daddy, real old school. He ain't had no sisters. You know what I'm saying? I grew up with all men. I only had boys. I was the only daughter. Um, my my stepsister. He had her, but him himself only had me. You know, as a daughter that he had. And child, he was really, really, really upset. And I don't think he was really up. He was more upset at the fact that I was gay more than anything. You know what I'm saying? If y'all wondering if my parents liked it, no. Did they accept me and shit? No. <laughs> if y'all want a story time on that, we can damn sure talk about that. But no, they ain't want me, y'all. Mm -mm. You know, today, I can laugh about it because I'm glad I went through the shit I went through. You know what I'm saying? If you don't go through it, you won't grow through it. You know what I'm saying? So you have to go through shit in order to get through it. My parents finding out that I was a lesbian was probably the lowest point of my teenage life. Because, it, well, kind of. It was almost a, a weight lifted off my shoulders. But then again, I got slapped back in the face with it because they ain't like that shit. They ain't like that shit at all. And at least it was out is how I felt. You know what I'm saying? But this is why I want to have kids. Because I really want my babies to be able to tell me anything. You get what I'm saying? Life's so real, bro. It's so real and it's so different. And you cannot, I don't feel like parents should be able to get away with not liking the fact that your child is gay. You know what I'm saying? How, how? I get you can be disappointed, right? Like, damn, I thought we were gonna have a granddaughter or, you know what I'm saying, shit like that, I get that. But, What about me? You know what I'm saying? At some point, it's not about you anymore. You know? As a parent, it's not about you anymore. It's about me, bro. I'm I'm, I'm 16 or however old I was. Go, I was up there. You know what I'm saying? 16, 17, one of them. At some point, it's like, my baby only a, only a couple years from, from really being able to live out here. And, and have to live out here. At some point, it's like you have to realize that. You know what I'm saying? So you would think it would be some acceptance. Granted, I didn't know how to show or how to express myself of who I was and why I was the way I was and why I was doing it and all that. I, I, didn't, I didn't know all that. You know what I'm saying? But it seems like as an adult, it would be some type of understanding. So this is a message to parents out there. If, you, if your child, a lot of older women watch me and a lot of y'all have teenage kids and if your child come out and tell you that they gay or they get caught doing something or whatever i get i get being upset about it but it was a reason why it was happening you know what i'm saying it was a reason why that was happening talk to your kids bro have some type of understanding because ain't nobody perfect because you wasn't you know so how can I be? You know what I'm saying? And I really think parents should get with the fucking program. That's just my two cents on that. But um, if y'all want to hear the story time about them not, you know, accepting me and the things I went through, <clears throat> this is not to shame them. This is just to tell my, my side of the story. <clears throat> my daddy didn't take me serious until I turned like 23. My daddy was like, you know what? My bad. I was like, what? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry I went so hard on you. I'm sorry that I didn't believe you. He said, I ain't think you were serious. But now, I see you serious. I'm sorry. That's crazy. Now me, I'm a better late than never type of person. Shit, at least he said it, you know what I'm saying? Made me feel better. 
our relationship is better. But it's like, damn. What happened when I was 16? I'm 23. Yeah, I'm about, about 23 years. I mean, excuse me, about seven years. Sir, what the fuck? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Unapologetically, too. My bad. I'm sorry. You know? It's like apologetically, unapologetic. Uh, apologetically, unapologetically. But it's all good. I have a relationship with him now and I'm happy that I have a relationship with him now and my parents and all that and um it was worth every bit of it but yeah if y'all want to know the story time on how I was getting treated also I've been jumped I had to have a uh I've been jumped twice I had to have a um a, uh what's it called intervention with my friends because they found out I was gay and stuff like that what do y'all want to hear next okay and we're going to keep doing these story times. <clears throat> I'm going to try and bring y'all one every day. Because I need YouTube to get used to me not putting somebody else's name in my damn title. Okay? And also, I want y'all to get to know me. So, work with me. You know what I'm saying? I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. See y'all next video. Peace out. Are you looking to get your shirt printed by Nick G the host? And not only get your shirt printed, get the fattest the best the baddest logo in the world and that's royalty apparel and you can get it from me yes me i do everything i print out the logo i cut the logo i pick the logo i also make sure it's measured right so it won't be crooked on your shirt then i press it down okay one two three pop open then you got the best logo out in the world okay and I gotta make sure that it's on correctly not only that I gotta ship it so I make sure it's on there heat and press right then I make sure it's folded right package it right okay okay then you gotta close it so it can get to you on time you know what I'm saying then I put my PO box on a paper and I send it to your door let me know if you want your shirt printed Go visit royaltiesworld.bigcartel.com and go get your shirt today. Peace out.